Welcome to Bronze Floor Exercise. Starting this rapid review with the special requirements. Elements must receive value part credit to fulfill a requirement. SR1, an acropass with a minimum of two directly connected acro elements, with or without flight. SR2, a second acropass with at least one acro element, with or without flight. SR3, a dance passage, a minimum of two different group one elements, they can be directly or indirectly connected. One is a leap with a minimum of 60 degrees cross or side split. And SR4, a minimum half turn on one foot. Pivot turns will not receive credit. To determine start value, routine start at 10.0. You subtract missing requirements. There are four at five tenths each. Subtract missing value parts. We expect four A's at one tenth each and subtract for any restricted elements five tenths each. The bronze restrictions include no saltos, aerials, or saltolite elements that land sitting, prone, or in splits. No B or higher value part except a straddle jump or side leap performed to B standards that would count as an A. A maximum of two acro flight elements. Restricted elements do not receive value part credit and cannot be used to fulfill requirements. Deduct 5 tenths from the start value and take appropriate execution deductions. Do not take a deduction for no dismount since it does not apply to Excel floor. The maximum execution deduction is 4.0. This includes falls but not artistry or spotting. A courtesy score of 4.0 can be given for extremely short routines. If less than three value parts, the chief judge deducts two points from the average. The split angle required for bronze leaps and jumps is 60 degrees. Credit can be given if 20 degrees short with a deduction of up to two. If they hit that larger split angle, it is still counted as an A. Non-flight walkover and walkover type elements must show 60 degree split at some point. A deduction of up to two can be taken for insufficient split. A round off rebound backward roll to any ending position is the only rebound type series allowed to fulfill SR1 for bronze. Any of the elements shown here may be used as a backward roll part of the series including a back accession roll. They may not get more creative with this. A front handspring rebound or a round off rebound half turn would break an acro series no matter how great it looks. They can place hands on the floor prior to rolling for no deductions, but you may deduct for rhythm problems. And if they perform a tuck jump instead of rebound, it will break the connection. What breaks an acro connection? A stop between elements, a loss of balance, repositioning of the support leg, for example, a cartwheel pivot into another cartwheel, an extra step hop or jump between elements, you kicks or swings the leg above 45 degrees into the second element, or a dance element performed within the acro pass. Inherently not connectable. The connection between elements must be continuous. The landing leg or the free leg of the first element must be the takeoff leg for the next element. If both feet land at the same time, the next element must take off from two feet. So examples would be a back walk over to a lunge or a cartwheel to a lunge, then performing a round off or a cartwheel out of it. The only way to legitimately connect this is by landing on one leg with a swing through of the second leg, keeping it under 45 degrees. Acro flight elements with hand support are not to be confused with non-flight acro. Acro flight elements receive value part credit regardless of the number of times used, provided that the acro pass is different. It does not apply to non-flight acro elements. For example, if they connect a cartwheel to a cartwheel and later performs another cartwheel, it would not receive value part credit. Remember that bronze can only perform two acro flight elements before receiving restricted status. Bronze may perform a leg swing hop to horizontal or above. If the free leg is within 20 degrees, an A is awarded with up to two deducted for insufficient amplitude. Other allowable A elements for bronze. Any half turn on one foot, not pivot turns. A forward or backward swing turn. A partial handstand simultaneously reaching a minimum of 45 degrees with feet together rather than just legs joined. A vertical handstand, any leg position. Headstand a bridge kickover from either standing or lying position. Do not take the compulsory deduction for an extra kick up. There is no such deduction for Excel. Newly added to the code of points is the phrase in position optional. 
for any type of forward rolls or dive rolls, as well as for the backward rolls. A passe hop full turn was also added. For Excel execution, we have the same landing deductions as for the dev program, including the new revision of a squat landing with hips lower than the knees for up to three. You have all the typical step deductions, including the new 0.15 for a medium step. We have a flat execution deduction of 0.1 for a concentration pause of two seconds or more. And at the end of the routine, we have a flat 0.1 for not ending with the music and half a tenth for not holding the end pose for one second. Throughout deductions, just like the dev program, target the non-value parts in a routine. And these are the up to three category. Artistry is broken into up to one for each of three parts. C for choreography, look for empty steps backing into the corner or perhaps a forgotten routine. P is for movement reflecting personal style. Does she extend her movements to the fullest range or does she just go through the minimum motion? E is for expression. Does she just look straight ahead or down at the carpet? Does she try to engage her audience? Footwork. Does she move flat-footed between elements or into the dance passage? Do you see circled feet? Body alignment, position, or posture? Does she try to stand tall, engaging her core, or is she overly relaxed? Are her shoulders hunched up? Does she lean forward? These are the up to two categories. Dynamics, does she struggle with her skills? Rhythm and tempo, does she only have one speed, maybe trying to race to the finish? Uh, music and movement, is she keeping up with the beat or is she ahead of the music? Is she performing waltz movements to salsa music? Coaches spotting, as you can see here, there are several things that can happen, but most likely it'll be a coach on the floor spotting a back handspring. First, there's no penalty in Excel for a coach on the floor. This spot will result in a 5 tenths deduction plus an additional 5 if they also fall. The element is not awarded VP and cannot fulfill requirements. If, however, the coach only spots the landing, they still get the 5 tenths off, but they will receive value part credit and can use it for requirements. Timing of routines. Warm-ups are 30 seconds, each based on the number in the largest squad. Timing the 45-second routine begins with the first movement and ends with the last movement. There is no minimum time. This concludes our rapid review for bronze floor exercise. Get ready to judge routines.